I'm here today to return all of Richard's artwork to him now that the exhibit's over and also to sort through all the pieces and see uh, which ones he'd like to donate. Okay, no, this one is... We're going to start the Richard Thompson collection as soon as I leave here. Christmas curmudgeons. <laughs> Poor toddler's round table. I love her hair. They look like little branches. <laughs> we can? Great. We can have it? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> a winner. Did you always draw her face as a whole circle and then do the nose? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Hello there. Hi, how are you? Hey, Richard. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Oh, I just looked at a stack of those before I came over here. They make me laugh every time. <laughs> you know, just, there's just so many of them that... <laughs> Richard worked for us at the studio doing a lot of different illustrations for a bunch of different association magazines. This one, I cannot even remember what it was for. My he wouldn't ask you a whole lot of questions one, about anything. I no idea. I found this one in my basement the other day. He would just take the manuscript and leave and come back with five, six, eight illustrations. Different whole ideas and approaches to something that could be about actuaries or automobile dealers. Richard could take anything and turn it into a piece of art. This one for electrical contractor, where he's turned the contractor and all the wires into a symphony. Richard is a mild guy. You talk to him and you think this is the nicest guy in the world. But he is absolutely driven by the need to be not good, but great. He'd never say that, but you, you just see it in the work. I know how many drafts he has done to get one thing perfect. Famous self-portrait with Alice. Was this in this house, this studio? No. The old one? Yeah. I crowned everything in that studio. Yeah. Plus, twice as many books and twice as many CDs. Then what you got now? Anything outside of actually sitting in front of his drawing board was a shoulder shrug to Richard. Anything, including business. While other competitors, they'd crawl over their grandmother to get a New Yorker cover, uh, Richard is just oblivious to that side of, of life. He's in a class by himself, and he can let the art speak for itself. Mm -hmm. 